No. Oh, oh my god. Yes, it's a bullet. Hi hey folks, welcome to my channel. So I'm out on some pasture again. Um, just down there, there used to be a foundry um, and there's been a lot of mining around here. But um, I'm on to my first find. I think I've got a bit of silver. So cue the music and we'll have a look. <laughs> Good, I think. Thought it might be a farthing at first, but I definitely think that's silver. Okay, here we go. I think it's a sixpence. You can see the imprint there. Right. Yeah, there it is, George V. Looks like it'll be in okay condition, that one. Let's see if we can get a date off it before we go. Seventeen or nineteen twenty-seven. Twenty-seven, I think. So just fifty percent silver. But that's my second signal. I've had a button, crushed the old button. Now sixpence. So pretty happy with that. Good start. This is what it sounded like, by the way. I'm in general mode. Quite liking that. Right. See what else we can find around here. Something else here, look how deep it was. Full length from a pinpoint, it was quiet. It was a quiet little signal. I hope they're not all this deep. I think we've got a coin. Alright, let's have a look at this. Yeah, just a crusty Georgian, I think. Half penny. I think I can make out a bust on there. It was giving me a 92, very faint, but I heard it. So there's stuff here. There's a little uh, footpath over that way, which I guess people would have walked from the village to the foundry along. Oh look, what's that there? Ah, a bit of clay pipe as well in the soil. All good signs. Got a bit of jewellery here. 88. I think it might be just junk jewellery, but I'm not sure. Let's have a look. Yeah, it looks like an earring. But it was very close to the surface. So I'm guessing it's a modern drop. See if we can see any hallmarks or anything. Hang on, get the brush out. No, I don't think so. I think it's just modern jewellery, non silver. Ah, well, never mind. All right, this one sounds okay, I think. 82. Could be a coin, could be a copper coin, I reckon. that out with my knife. Oh no. 
Mal. Well, I think this one sounds okay. Eighty-eight. Yeah, I'm hopeful with this one. Hopefully, not another bottle top. Right. It's in the clod somewhere. A one P. Dang it. Just add this up. It's only a G5 penny. It's in nice condition though, should be able to polish that up quite nicely. as good as that it was a bit of a dodgy signal but it's uh, quite a nice bit of silver so we're gonna let's have a look and spin you around yeah looks like a shilling a fairly modern one i think let's have a look a bit, a bit of a closer look let's give it a rub down get the water out oh hang on 1936 i think it says I'm hoping for some George III silver up here. I have had that before, but so far none. But I'm not complaining. That's quite a nice coin. And it's in nice condition. Yeah, that'll, that'll clean up nicely, that will. Happy with that. And it was about. I'll show you the hole, which explains why it wasn't a great signal. Uh, easily the length of my pinpointer down there. So that's good. I'm happy with that. General mode, I'm liking it. Let's see if we can find anything else. now it didn't sound that good in the hole but it was worth looking at okay. now it's just a button but it's an interesting one because it's got like a little I think that's a stag's head on it so maybe it's off someone's hunting clothes or livery livery uniform maybe I'll clean it up I'll show you a picture hopefully now most of the time around here when you dig a 67 it's a button not this time though I'll spin you around Right, here we go. About seven inches down, I suppose. Looks like a little, um, what do you call it, buckle ring? It's not gold or silver, but it's, it's a copper one, I think. Would have meant something to someone at some point. some markings inside let me just try and no, I don't know. maybe it was plated at some point right, let me just give this a rub up hang on right so I've got my brush out I've given that a bit of a clean the writing inside says silver <laughs> but I really don't think this is silver I think this is someone's fake silver ring from a while ago look it looks old but I'll, uh, I'll do a silver test just to make sure, but there's too much green, it's too corroded. But I like it. Give me a 79. I've just switched over to sensitive mode. I just got bored <laughs> of general. Not that there's anything wrong with it. Oh, here we are. Looks like a half penny. 
looks like Vicky. Yeah, there she is. Oh, that's got a uh, nice patina on it. Not bad condition. There you go. Landowner might want that. Good, because it was getting a bit quiet. Uh, I'm glad to find something at last. I think I've got a little watch winder. Or oh, maybe it's a bit too chunky for a watch winder. I'm not sure. I like it, whatever it is. Is that more of a screw end there? Uh, it might be tapered. Yeah, I'm not sure. Have a Vicky half penny. That gave me a bit of an iron signal as well, in some directions. It was very deep, so maybe it was confused. That might be my last hole. Right, no, this is going to be my last hole because it's better. It's giving me a nice 92. Right, got a nice bit of silver here. I think it's a shilling. Can you see it? What have we got? Yes. Oh. Uh, who are you going to be? Oh my god. Yes. It's a bullet. Happy days. Oh, I thought it was going to be a um, a George the Fifth shilling, but oh, I am not complaining. I am well happy with that. That's made my day. Oh yes, mate. Love bullets. Oh, right, I will clean it up. At home, I'll show you a picture. What's the date on there? Let's have a quick look. 1817, I think. It's not the greatest condition one, but it, the silver's in good condition anyway. He's a bit worn down, this fat head there, but that'll do me. Be done right at the end there, uh, cracking little find. I'm happy with that, it's my little smile. Um, thanks for watching. So, that was a couple of hunts, both pretty decent. Um, looking forward to coming back here again. Not only is there a few nice finds, it's absolutely beautiful around here. I love it. Oh, hello, that's a little, little fall, haven't you? Um, yeah, thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe, all that bullshine. See you later.